Welcome to the Hall of Fame room. My name is Kyle Quillen and I'm the president here at Davidson College. It is truly a great day to be a Wildcat. All right. <laughs> Every day is a great day to be a Wildcat. Today is especially a great day to be a Wildcat. Um, it's my great pleasure to welcome you here today on the special day for Davidson Athletics and, and especially Davidson Football. And I have no real role here other than to share in your excitement about the adventure we're about to embark on together. And it's my real privilege to introduce Jim Murphy, who's the athletic director here at Davidson. Thanks, President Quillen. Thank you all for being here. This really is a special day. I'm Jim Murphy, Director of Athletics. And first, I want to thank the search committee that helped us filter through so many applications for this job, so many highly qualified people that led us to our choice. Uh, leading the search committee, William Reichert helped us out, uh, Steve Smith, Brian Fork, who's here today, Boris Henderson, Fred Smith, uh, Professor of Economics, players Lanny Funston, Jelani Doman, and Pete Anderson and Scott Applegate on my staff. I appreciate so much their help and their guidance and their expertise and their willingness to serve and commit to Davidson College. At times, Davidson College is a different place, and our football program needs a leader who not only understands our culture, but also firmly believes it. We looked during our search for a coach who has learned and grown in a successful system, working and watching under successful coaches. We looked for a coach who fit Davidson. Our new head football coach listened, learned, and blossomed during stints at Florida, Ohio State, Marshall, Toledo, and Illinois, all the while grounded by a Davidson College education. We think we found that great fit. Now the work begins and the fun starts. Please join me in welcoming back to campus Davidson College head football coach, class of 2003, Paul Nichols. Because of the people involved in this, in this place. 
the, the people we're going to recruit, the young men, student athletes that we were going to recruit in this in this program, are going to be no, no different than the, the than the, the students that, that are walking the uh, halls of chambers and walking Patterson Court. Uh, the cream of the crop does not come to Davidson. I've got news for you. The cream of the cream comes to Davidson College, and that's why I'm so excited to get back here, work with those young men, and help them graduate, become great doctors, lawyers, businessmen, whatever it is that they aspire to be. The other reason that uh, I'm excited to come home is because in the last nine years, uh, and more importantly in the last five years, my wife and I have probably moved uh, five or six different times, and we've lived uh, from Huntington, West Virginia, to Champaign, Illinois, and bringing her closer to home, three and a half hours away from, from her parents and my parents, and back to where she went to college. Uh, I'm in the running. Now, I, I don't have a chance to win, but I'm in the running for husband of the year right now. <laughs> and so that's exciting, for particularly uh, coming up on Christmas where I haven't had an opportunity to go out and do much shopping. So I really say that. <laughs> hey, this day is a big day in Davidson College football history. It's the beginning of Operation Just One Agenda. And that one agenda is get this program back to where it's supposed to be. You see, 12 years ago, this football team went undefeated. And in 1969, we were, we were a participant in a bowl game. And so we've gone through some dry spells here and there. But this program is built on excellence. It's built on people, and that's where we're going to get this program back to. All right? Operation Just One Agenda does not shy away from high academic standards. We embrace it. We're excited to get the cream of the cream on this campus. We're going to go out and recruit wherever we have to go to get the best student athletes on this campus. Okay? We're going, to be, we're going to be first class in everything we do. We're going to be the class of college football. We're going to win in the classroom. We're going to win in the community. And we're also going to win on the field. Our standards are going to include, we're going to ask our players to be 10 minutes early to class. We're going to ask them to sit in the first two rows. We're going to ask them to engage their professors. We're going to ask them to ask Dr. Susan Roberts a uh, question about the previous uh, election or the uh, upcoming uh, uh, debate, whatever it is, they're going to engage this community. Our, our coaches are going to be on campus and we're going to make sure that that happens. We're going to hire the best staff in the country. We've got an excellent staff that's here right now. We're going to search high and, high and low, coast to coast, and we're going to hire the best staff in the country. And when I talk about staff, I'm talking about teachers. Teachers that want to come in and help young men develop and become the best student athletes that they can possibly become. We're going to embrace the alumni. We're going to embrace the former players. They're the foundation that we're going to lean on going forward. This thing is not going to happen overnight. It's going to take hard work every day, starting early and staying late. And we're going to embrace those guys. We want them back on campus. We want them back for our spring game. September 7th, we play at Georgetown in Washington, D.C. And September 14th, we'll be right out here at Richardson Stadium, Stephen B. Smith Field, to open up against Lenore Ryan. And we're excited about it. Our players are going to have the best experience of their lives playing Davidson College football. I can honestly say that myself. And that's the experience that I want them to have. I see guys, that, uh, uh, former teammates of mine, John Davis, and uh, some of the other guys, Timmy Robertson, I bet you if you ask them, they would say, hey, we had the best experience of our life playing Davidson College football. Our expectations for our players, for our staff, are going to be the highest possible. We're going to expect them to embrace the academic standards. We're going to expect them to embrace excellence. And that's what we're going to demand of them every day. Okay. We're going to be in the community, like I mentioned. And I want to make sure that you guys understand the staff that we bring in. We're going to be teachers first. We're going to engage the college. And there's 200, Shaw Smith, I want you to know this. There's 260 days from right now until we play September 7th in Washington, D.C., Georgetown University. There's 267 days until September 14th we play right out there. And I want you, Shaw Smith, to be the first season ticket buyer in <laughs> Davidson College history. I, see, I saw Dave Fagg a little bit earlier. There's Coach Fagg. Coach Fagg, it's a privilege that, you, that you're here. I'm excited about you. I look forward to getting together with you. And uh, I hope that we can uh, continue the tradition that you worked so hard to lay out for us. I appreciate everybody being here. Hey, it's a, it's, it, I want to echo the sentiments of the president. It's a great day to be a Wildcat. Operation Just One Agenda is starting today, and it will continue for a long, long time. Without, with, with that being said, I'd like to open up for questions uh, from anybody. Yes. We, we passed the ball a lot the past couple of seasons. <coughs> so, uh, 
Hopkins, Steve, you think we should run? <laughs> run the ball. I told the guys, you can have some of these guys. I had, I had the opportunity on our interview to meet with the players, and I told them we were going to install the wishbone. So, yeah, I like it. Okay, no, we're going to do what our players can do. Listen, I'm into winning football games, and the way you win football games is you play offense, you play defense, and most importantly, you play special teams. And we're going, we're, we're, I'm not going to come in and say, hey, we're going to play with two backs in the backfield and we're going to do this, that, and the other thing because that would be unfair to our players that we have on our football team. Now, the way we're going to recruit is we're going to recruit to a certain system. But that being said, we're not going to have 15 wide receivers on the roster and have them sit over there just because we, we say we're going to run the football. We're going to do what it takes to win, and that means offense, defense, special teams. That's a great question. What do you think was the key to that 10-0 and season, and how might that inform what you try to bring back to the Well, that's a great question. The, the key in any great football team is, is, is unselfishness. And we had guys on that football team. I spoke to Corey Crawford yesterday. I spoke to Ryan Crawford and Bo Henderson. Some of the guys on that football team are here. We had some unselfish guys. And we're still friends to this day. I had six of them in my wedding. And uh, we had a bunch of unselfish players unselfish coaches and uh, we worked together as a unit. It was not just one guy, it was, a, it was an entire football team. Anybody else? Come on guys. Coach, you've been at uh, big time programs at Haas State in uh, Illinois. What can uh, you take from their programs and uh, bring it here to Davidson? Well, I tell you what, one thing that Jim Trussell taught me a long time ago was uh, develop, the, develop the person, the player will take care of itself. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to focus on developing the person. We're going to try to develop the three-dimensional student athlete, okay? Academics first, athletics, and then spiritual. And that's what we're going to try to do first. The rest of it will take care of itself. Well, how can we have more football alumni so connected to your program? Well, I'll tell you what, that's a great question. First of all, I want, to know, I, want, I want the former players to know, like I mentioned, they're going to be the foundation of our program. And we're going to reach out to them. The way that, the way that they can help as, a, as an alumni group and a former player group is we want them back on campus. We want them at the spring game. We want them at the basketball game. We want them all over the place. We want them at the September 14th first game. And I want them to know that I've got an open door. Anytime they want to stop by and knock on the door, I'm here for them. That's what we're here for. Will there be more money put into the football program to help with expenses so that maybe you don't have to travel so far on the bus and take more plane trips to the teams that are far away? That's, that's, that's a great question. That's a great question. We've got the two people here in the house. <laughs> travel first class, we're going, to do, we're, we're going to be the class of college football, and I'll tell you how we're going to do that. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to create uh, a, a, and, and renewed emphasis on the Davidson Gridiron Club because we're going to ask our former players to get involved. And I'm going to be on the road, and I'm going to engage the alums. I'm going to engage the former players and make sure that, hey, they, they can't call up and say, hey, why aren't we traveling like this, or why aren't we doing this? Hey, if you want that, get involved. We love it. <coughs> Anybody else? Hey, I appreciate you guys coming. Look forward to meeting each and every one of you haven't, if I haven't already. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on September 7th in D.C. If you can't make it up there like Shaw Smith will. September 14th. <laughs> September 14th. I need you right in those stands, screaming loud, screaming proud for the red and black, okay? Thank you. <laughs>